Have a good day, guys. You too. Thank you. Good luck out there. Same to you. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Fish in Southern Maryland. I'm your host, David. It's the middle of July. July 15th. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning. And I have returned to Gilbert Run Park. A couple of the spots I like to fish down in St. Mary's County have been shut off for a while. Um, you'll see that in one of the other videos. But in all honesty, I just had to get out on the kayak. But I had to get out on the kayak in the morning because it gets hot here in Southern Maryland during this time of year. When I first drove up to the actual launch, I was met by this wonderful family that's right out here. Looks like they're trolling some baits. I hope they have a good day and everything. They said that they recognized me and I wish them well. I hope they have a good time. I hope they catch a lot of fish. Hope I do too. Let's find out. Yep, looks like they're just trolling right down in the center of the lake. Let me get over here in the shade at first. If there's anything in there, we'll come along and hit that side as well. Let's have some fun today. Considerably cooler here in the shade. Fish number one. And there's a small bluegill caught right off of this little tree up here. A little small bluegill. Let's see if there's another one up here. My little friend, the largemouth, is here. I've always caught, right, I keep catching the same largemouth, I think, or at least a one that's his brother or sister, but... <laughs> yep, I want to say it's the same fish each time. I like to come and check to see if he's doing okay. He seems to be fine. So we'll put him back in the water and let him go. But he's always on this side. And I've caught him probably three or... I don't know if it's the same fish or not, but it seems like I've caught him three or four times. But I've caught two fish and two species. Fish number three, another bluegill. Okay, a little excited there, are we? Bluegill number four. Bluegill number five. I'm just using a floating trout worm and an Aberdeen hook under a piece of split shot. Red Bull may give you wings, but it doesn't give you a right to uh, leave it here. Take it with you. And there's another one right there that can be picked up. It's somebody's bait, the top of their bait. That could have been taken home with them too. Yuck. 
We'll leave that there and throw it away when we get up to the launch. <laughs> he feels like he's been eating something though. His stomach feels full. No, that, is, that guy's fell hooked. No, he's in the mouth. He's in the mouth. Oh, we got a third species. It's a little red ear. A little, little red ear sunfish for the third species for today. And that's nice. Bluegill number seven. Right back in the water. We'll take a quick pause and get that water bottle or get that Pepsi bottle. Pepsi bottle over there, we'll take a pause and get it. Shallow water back here on this side. Okay. Oh yeah, nice blue gill. Nice bull blue gill. We'll take a picture of him. Okay, so like I said, we're here in the middle of summer in Southern Maryland. Uh, the temperature's probably about 83, 84 degrees right now. Lots of humidity. So I want to explain why I was fishing over on that side. When I first got here, I went to the shady side of the actual lake. Fish will generally go towards the cooler water in the morning. They'll kind of go up towards that area. They'll go up into the shallows, look for bait. Once the sun comes up and starts to warm things up, the fish are going to start to move a little deeper. And so now I'm on the western side of the lake, and there's a couple areas a little bit further up in front of me which have deeper water, and the fish are going to move deeper during the day to try to find that cooler water. since. Oh, we got a nice red ear over here in deeper, a little bit deeper water. Yeah, very nice red ear. We're taking your picture too. Wet my trough. Let it go. Now, in case you're wondering, how do you know how deep it is? You know, uh, you don't have any depth finders or anything like that on my kayak. I don't, I don't have any electronics other than the cameras and my phone and everything. So I can do one of two things. I can take my paddle, stick it down here, and it goes completely under the water. So I know that if it's at least that deep. Well, that's fine and dandy, but I can also look at the shoreline. I can see an actual nice little hill or cliff, if you w wish, that leads down here to this area. That land is not going to just come down and all of a sudden just go f flat out. It's going to just keep sloping down to the bottom of the lake. Over on that side, you don't have any hills. There's no hills that lead down to the water, so it just slopes gently out, so it's shallow. In fact, a couple times when I was picking up some of the litter today, I actually ended up getting my kayak grounded. Here, I've got deeper water because again, if I look, I've got a little cliffside or a little area of higher 
ground above the actual water, which is not going to just all of a sudden come down and again st straight out. It keeps sloping down. Another bluegill. There's nine of those. And a splash. Still a little bit of shade over here. My goodness, that thing just went and grabbed it. I saw the fish swim towards it. It's an even dozen of the bluegill. Let's put it back over there. I mean, come on, really? Thirteen. Number 14. I think that's 15. Can't remember what my last number was. Mayo bottle. That's lovely, a squish ball. Okay everyone, so I'm gonna sum it up here. Everything I caught today was on a small piece of floating trout worm, again, under a piece of split shot and an Aberdeen hook that was a size 8. I think I caught 20 fish. Three different species, nothing terribly big, but it was a fun time. The family that I saw at the beginning who were leaving, they were trolling some grubs, he said, and he said that they caught two largemouths, so good for them. Hopefully they can get back out there and, and catch some more fish as, as well. If I remember correctly, he told me he had a channel. If I can find it, I'm going to link it in the description of this one but hopefully you enjoyed this one get out there have some fun and until next time tight lines